Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, today I am back with another interview problem. This problem has been part of IBM's data analyst interview and in this video we are going to discuss the problem statement and the step by step solution. The complexity level of this problem is pretty tough and I have tried my best to make it as simpler as possible for you guys to understand. So guys today's video is going to be very interesting but before proceeding further do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding my upcoming videos right so guys let's get started so guys now first of all let's understand this problem statement the title of this problem is employees with same birth month right and it has been asked here that we have to identify the number of employees within each department that share the same birth month right that is corresponding to a particular department we have to identify how many employees have the same birth month right and in the output we have to list the department birth month and the number of employees from that department who are born in the same month right now further it has been mentioned over here that if a month has no employees born in it within a specific department report this month as having zero employees right that is corresponding to a particular department and corresponding to a particular month if no employee has been born in that specific month right so we have to print zero in the count of employees column right then further it is mentioned over here that the profession column stores the departmental names of each employee right so guys on the basis of this problem statement let's make some quick pointers that we are going to refer while writing the final solution right so the first thing is that in the select statement we need to print the profession profession is depicting the department right and we have to print the birth month right then we have to print the count of employees born in that specific month right so count of employees right now it is mentioned over here that for example in a particular month for a particular department if there is no employee born then we have to print zero right so profession comma birth month if has zero then the count should display zero right so guys now let's take a preview of the data set that is available to us so here we just have one data set by the name employee underscore list right so let's take a preview here we have these columns first name last name profession employee id birthday and birth month right so we have data in this way so we have the name of the person the profession so profession is depicting the department then we have the employee id right then we have the birthday and the birth month right so now in the output it is desired that we have to print profession which we can take from here then the birth month which we can take from here and for the count of employees what we can do we can count the employee id right so this part is clear so guys now based on our understanding of this problem let's write the query right so i will be writing select profession right comma birth month then we need to count the employees so i will be counting the employee id as count right from employee list now since we are using an aggregate function so we will be using group by so i need to group by 1 comma 2 and let's order our results with respect to 1 comma 2 right let's execute this to see the output all right so i have written order let's execute this all right so guys this is the output let me copy it from here and paste it in the excel Great. so let me paste it here all right so guys here we are getting three columns profession birth month and count right so corresponding to accountant you can see that we are getting five records for birth month 3, 6, 7, 8 and 9 because we have a particular count 
associated with this combination of profession and birth month right but here the ask is that we need to print all the 12 months corresponding to a profession and in case there is no employee born in a particular month so we have to print zero against that right so guys here there are two challenges first thing is that corresponding to every profession we would be needing 12 rows each row will depict a combination of profession and the birth month right so in a particular year we have 12 months so we need to print 12 records right and the second challenge is that if the count of employee in a particular birth month and profession combination is zero we have to print zero right now let's go back to the editor all right so guys let me write those two challenges here so the challenge one is we need 12 rows for each profession and birth month right so this is the first challenge and this is the second challenge right all right so guys in this scenario this query is not going to work so we need to think of some other solution so guys now we are clear about these two challenges now let's discuss each challenge one by one and the probable solution right so the first challenge is that we need 12 rows for each profession and birth month so guys as per this statement it is obvious that we would be needing a cartesian product of each profession with respect to the birth month right so first of all what we can do we can take the distinct profession in the data set right so select distinct profession from employee list right let's execute this all right so guys by writing this query we are able to extract all the distinct professions available in the data set right so here we have engineer doctor teacher manager and many more right so i will be putting this in a ct so with CTE1 as so this part will go in the CTE right now what else do we want we want all the 12 months from this birth month column right so I will be writing another query select distinct birth month from employee underscore list right let's execute this once all right now uh, let me use order by all right so guys using this query we are able to fetch all the 12 months from 1 to 12 right now what we can do we can take a cross join of this output and this output so that corresponding to every profession will be able to print 12 rows right so let me put this in another ct ct2 as so guys i can do this part in a single query but i am using multiple cts for you guys to understand right so guys now we have these two cts now let's write a select statement to take the cross join of these two cts right so let me put a comma here right so select a dot profession comma b dot birth month from ct1 as a sorry a cross join ct2 b right order by 1 comma 2 all right so guys let's execute this to see what we are getting all right so guys here you can see that corresponding to each profession we are able to print 12 records right 
so guys with this the first challenge is solved now let's move to the next one right but before doing that let me copy this and paste it in the excel right so that you guys can visualize what what could be the next step all right okay so guys here you can see that in the in this table we are able to print the profession the birth month and the count right and in this table we have all the professions all the birth month combination right so guys now in the desired output we want to print three columns profession birth month and the count of employees right now in this table that we just printed we have 12 records corresponding to each profession and birth month right and on the left side we have another table which we have printed using this query right this one where we have the profession birth month and the count of employee ids right so guys now we have these two tables or entities and we want to take this part from this table and this count part from another table right so for this what we can do so basically in order to print this we can use a either left join or right join so basically we want to print all the records from this table so uh, we can take it as left join right so let me show you what we can do let me put it in a ct ct3 right <clears throat> now proceeding further let's create another ct ct4 with this data so cte4 as this right let me put a comma here all right so select so we have these two ct ct3 and ct4 and we will be using a left join considering ct3 as the left table right so a dot star comma v dot now from the table a that is ct3 we want the profession and the birth month and from the second ct we want the count of employee id so i will be using v dot count as count from ct3 a left join cte4 right now what would be the joining condition so basically we want to join these two tables on this combination right that is i will be matching the profession and birth month count so i will be using two conditions the first condition would be a dot profession equals to v dot profession and the second condition would be a dot birth month equals to v dot birth month right and uh, let's order by 1 comma 2 right so guys now let's execute this to see what we are getting all right so guys in the output you can see that we are able to print three columns profession birth month and the count right and we have all the 12 records for each profession right and in the count column we have some nulls and for corresponding to some combination of profession and birth month we have some values right now in the problem statement it has been mentioned that if we have a no employee born in a particular month related to a particular profession then we have to print zero instead of null right so in order to solve this second challenge right this one what we can do we can use call sk function right so let me show you how we can use this so guys now we need to replace this b dot count with the call sk function right so let me write call sk and in this call sk function we need to pass two arguments b dot count and zero so why two arguments so in case we have some value corresponding to this b dot count then it will be printed else if it encounters any null value so it will print zero in place of that right that is why we are using call sk function so let's execute this again to see the final output
all right so guys this is the final output so guys here we are able to print the profession the birth month and the count so corresponding to profession and birth month we have 12 records and in case corresponding to a particular combination of profession and birth month if we have no person born in that particular month so we have printed zero here right so we have achieved the final target so guys i know this is a pretty complex problem so let me give you a recap for your ease right so first of all what we have done we have broken this problem into few cts to make it easier to understand so in the first ct what we are doing we are taking the distinct professions from the employee list table and putting the result in the ct right we are taking ct1 for this particular data now in the ct2 we are taking the distinct birth month from the employee list table right after that we have used cross join for these two cts so that corresponding to each profession we can print all the 12 birth months right now in the ct4 what we have done we have taken the profession the birth month and the count of employee id from the employee list table right but in this output we are just able to print records corresponding to those professions and birth month where in the count column if we have some specific value right but in the final desired output we need to print the profession and all the 12 birth months right whereas in this output we are just getting the records where a particular employee has been born right so in order to do that what we have done we have used left join considering the ct3 as the left table where we have all the 12 records and ct4 as the right table right and we have joined these two tables on these two conditions a dot profession equals to b dot profession and birth month equals to birth month right now after that in the select statement what we have done so if we join these two tables and if it encounters a null value where there is no match so it will print null right but the ask here is that we need to print zero in case there is no person born in that particular month that is we need to replace the nulls right so for that we have used the coleske function and in the coleske function we have passed two arguments b dot count and zero so if it encounters some value then it will print b dot count else it will print zero all right so guys this way we can solve this problem so guys i know this is a pretty complex problem so i tried my best to solve this as simple as possible for you guys to understand and in case you have any other solution please do share it in the comment section with all of us so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this in case you like the video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos like this also in case of any doubt or any query just let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer all of them one by one also if you have any other interesting way of solving this problem do share it with us in the comment section below so guys once again thank you for watching this video keep learning keep growing see you in the next video